This video is going to be about my diet and what I personally eat to approach my own goals, which are currently to improve my athleticism and bodyweight strength training, and also to put on muscle mass. I want to start off by saying that there is no special or superior diet in my opinion, as everyone has different body types and goals such as losing weight or gaining weight, as well as other very important considerations like you have high blood pressure, high blood sugar, allergies, etc, etc. So instead of trying this exact diet that I'm showing you, consider what your own goals, body types, and restrictions are and use this video just as an example that I created for myself through years of trial and error. Whether or not you want to gain, lose, or maintain your weight, this is fairly simple, you eat according to what your daily caloric expenditure is. Now this number is your BMR or your basal metabolic rate, which is how many calories your body burns per day to just keep you alive, um, plus the number of calories burned by activity such as movement or exercise. To find out what your maintenance calories would be around, there is a link in the description that will calculate a general number for you. So in the end, eating more than your maintenance will make you gain weight over time and you'll lose weight if you eat under your maintenance consistently. Like I said, my goals are to progressively gain weight and strength over time while progressing in my skills. I usually have a hard time eating enough food and putting on weight, but I know other athletes who are the exact opposite where they struggle to lose weight and have a very high appetite. I also burn a lot of calories per day as I have a high BMR and I do a lot of activities each day such as long workouts, movement and stretching, walking, and uh, some other random stuff. A very general rundown of my diet is a high protein and high fat diet and I adjust carbs according to if I'm trying to gain or maintain weight. If you are looking to gain or lose weight but are struggling, I highly recommend getting an app to track your calorie intake because I used to always think that I'm eating enough, but then after tracking my calories, I figured out that I was not. If this is you, I highly recommend getting an app to track your calorie intake. I use an app called Chronometer or Chronometer, I have no idea, but there are probably hundreds of places, websites that'll let you log your meals to calculate your calories. Now I usually eat around 3,200 to 3,400 calories per day as my maintenance is around the 3,000 mark and I eat 3 large meals a day to maintain, 4 to 5 smaller meals a day to gain weight. Now I never intentionally lose weight as I would like to continuously keep putting on mass and gain strength for the foreseeable future. Now some things I don't consume because in my experience they've been absolutely terrible for performance and this would be fast food, alcohol, and excessive sugar. Unless the sugar is from fruits, I don't really eat candy or anything like that. I used to eat McDonald's twice a day and boatloads of soft drinks and candy, but then I found out that they made my workouts feel like dog water. I'm also lactose intolerant, so I can't eat foods such as milk and whey, but these foods might be a benefit to someone else. Also, hydrate. I cannot stress this enough, it's not worth it to dehydrate yourself for the sake of looking more shredded, you do need water, especially if you're trying to improve your athleticism. I'll list my sources of these macronutrients, which are protein, carbs, and fat. So something to consider is that I personally respond better to fats as an energy source than carbs. Other people could be different, so again, I'm reminding you that this is me. So for protein, I eat a lot of eggs, meat, and beans, and occasionally protein powder if I need to desperately hit my protein goal for the day. And the general rule is to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight or one gram of protein per 2.205 times your weight in kgs. For carbs, I eat rice, potatoes, pasta, or oats. And for fats, I eat a lot of animal fats, egg yolk, and nuts. And I also cook everything in olive oil. Again, keep in mind which foods make you feel terrible and just simply avoid them because there's no point in really eating them. So each day I have my meals according to if I am or am not training that day. And I divide my meals into pre-training and post-training meals. Before training, I usually have at least one meal 
around two to three hours before my first workout because I don't like to train fasted. I've done it before, it got me way too lean and messed up my energy levels, but I have seen it as a good weight loss method, but I wouldn't recommend it for performance. So before my workouts, I usually eat a lot of fats, usually early in the day for breakfast or for lunch, because fats take slower to burn than carbohydrates and they'll keep me more energized throughout the day. So before my first workout, I usually eat stuff that is easy on my digestive system. So only sometimes would I eat meat before my workouts. I usually save meat until after. And then usually an hour or 30 minutes before my first workout, I would eat some fruits like a couple bananas or oranges. And then in the meals following my workout, I eat a lot of animal proteins such as beef. My favorites include steak. Fish such as salmon are incredibly good for performance in my experience. I also eat a lot of carbs after my workout. This is just a personal preference as I want to gain weight. And then I also try to eat enough vegetables throughout the day because they do make me feel good. I really enjoy carrots, broccoli, and bok choy, but I don't eat much else. I'm also not a huge fan of excessive sauce or seasoning, so it's even harder for me to put on calories through clean, no sauce meals. Yeah, my meals are pretty lame, but I, I'm fine with it. Another tip is you want to find a diet that suits your goals, but are also at least somewhat enjoyable to eat. Otherwise, you lose motivation for that diet pretty quick. Now, since I just moved, I do eat out a lot if I run out of food or I'm in a time crunch. I do consider these cheap meals, but I do incorporate a couple cheap meals in, into my week, especially if I'm gaining weight, as I've had some negative experiences from strictly eating clean and nothing else. So you have to be mindful to how you respond to different types of food, as different people have different thresholds for how often they can eat cheat meals. Now for bulking and cutting and calisthenics, because your body weight does play a very key role in your calisthenics performance, there is this kind of paradox between building muscle and progressing in skills. Generally, most experienced calisthenics athletes are pretty shredded, as higher body fat means more dead weight, as in non-contractile tissue, basically weight that is working against you during skills but not helping you at all. But then, it's also pretty hard to build muscle while being at a very low body fat. So in order to simultaneously put on more muscle and level up my skills, I usually focus on one goal at a time and then switch it later. So if I happen to be gaining weight to gain muscle, I'll work to simply maintain my calisthenics level as I'm still progressively overloading by gaining my body weight. And sometimes it's even normal to lose progress in your skills when you're bulking because a tiny bit of weight can make a very big difference in some of these movements. But also keep in mind that you are gaining muscle mass and absolute strength, but you're simply just losing relative strength, which I would add you can always gain back later. And on the other hand, if I'm maintaining or even losing weight, I try the best I can to level up my skills, otherwise I'll be losing too much absolute strength if I'm losing a lot of weight. Overall, in my opinion, frequent lean bulks or a slight caloric surplus over time is the best route for progressing in skills and also putting on muscle. And also, it lessens the chance of you losing significant progress too fast, as seeing your skills go down can be very demotivating if you're putting on a lot of weight too fast. Now onto supplements, because I get asked about supplements a lot. Personally, I take collagen peptides, BCAAs, and occasionally creatine and protein powder. Out of these, the only supplement that I think would be actually worth recommending is collagen peptides, because as a calisthenics athlete, you're putting a lot of stress on your tendons with some of these elements, and collagen serves as the building blocks that'll repair and grow your tendons, so I would highly recommend it. BCAAs, I've heard some anecdotal evidence that it prevents muscle loss on a cut, but I mainly take it by mixing it with my collagen peptides because it makes the drink taste better. And then creatine serves to help your muscles store more water and can give you better pumps, but it's not absolutely necessary as I've had pretty good results without it. And then for protein powder, as I've mentioned before, I would only eat it to meet my calorie goals. Now, in addition to the meals and the supplements I take, I eat a lot of snacks throughout the day, usually in the form of cashews, carrots, beef jerky, or protein bars, and I usually just eat these throughout the day, whether I'm in class or doing other day-to-day -day tasks such as homework or working, I would usually be eating something or drinking water. 
So lastly, I'll give a few possible tips that have worked for me and might work for you if you are the type of person who struggles to eat more and put on weight. So first, I usually don't drink water until I'm done with my meal, as water can make you full pretty quickly. I also don't drink carbonated water since they're more useful for losing weight. I still drink water throughout the day, but when it comes time for a meal, I usually push it until after the meal. I also try to eat pretty fast, which usually lets me eat more, but not too fast to the point where you have heartburn and want to throw up. Fats are very calorie dense, uh, as in 9 calories per gram compared to 4 calories per gram for carbohydrates. So if you find that your body responds really well to fats, I recommend trying to get some more calories from your fats. Not too much though, and don't do anything drastic immediately as there can be very negative health results. Don't rely on protein powders. You want protein powders to be the cherry on top when you finish the day. So ideally you wanna get as much protein in from actual food and then use it as a supplement at the end of the day. Or if you are really in a rush or you don't have anything to eat, you don't want to be stuck eating things that, you'll, that you hate because if you dislike the food that you eat every day, then you lose motivation to eat that food fairly quickly. Now, as you can see, my diet is pretty lame. There's nothing really special about it, and there doesn't have to be anything special about your diet. As long as you're eating with consideration, then you should be fine. Now, every once in a while, I might make an update to this video with more meals of what I eat, depending on if I find something new that works or I move to a different place that has different types of food available. But anyways, thank you for your patience for these last few weeks where I wasn't uploading. I had just moved to a different country for school, and I'd spend the last few weeks figuring out my new food situation so I could be able to demonstrate my meals in this video. Thank you guys again for your support and your patience, and more videos will come soon. Peace.